Mic check, mic check. Alrighty then. Tonight it is going to be all about hardware. It has been a while since we did a hardware video. We did a full three-part series that you're going to want to go back and watch if you really want to get in-depth. But tonight is going to cover at a high level the things that you absolutely must have, the things that we suggest to have, and if you're, they're really cool stuff like you really may want to have, we're going to go over uh, a lot of the folks who are already in our crew, their setups. So I'm going to go and do some corrective um, updates on some folks who've got some setups that they might think are really good, but I want to, you know, give in some critiques on things that might be hindering you um, in, in your trading. And of course, we approach the markets like a gamer, so a lot of that is going to come into play. Let's take a peek at some of that hardware. And uh, don't forget, if you are not doing so already, follow us over on our social media. Right here is the most fun here on Instagram. If you want to learn how we earn right here on our Discord channel chat to learn all that stuff, the links are down in the description. Let's get plugged in here tonight. Let's do a hardware right now. Alrighty then, so let's get plugged in. So if you have uh, done my small office tour, you might have seen everything we got here. Again, I am kind of a six grid specialist. So if you're writing something down, again, really, in my opinion, the ideal, if you are gonna be a professional day trader, I think it is hard to beat this six grid. And I'm gonna show you guys why. That is what you're currently looking at right here. This is what I call, if you hear me say, oh yeah, do you have a six grid? This is what I'm talking about. This means that you have a central set of panels. You see these two right here? This is key. Um, I talked to my buddy Tom Dante. I think he's getting a new set of hardware. He called me up. Was like, "Hey, Vinny, I know you're, you know, you're all up in the hardware stuff. I'm about to get a new setup. What do you suggest?" We had a long conversation around this. He wants to do an eight setup again. I actually do have eight. You'll notice where are my eights? Over here, off to the left. I'll show that here at a different angle. In fact, we'll go ahead and hit it right here, right now. You see the two up here to my left, and I used to have one down here, but I kind of like the openness, so I picked, uh, took that one out, um, and I've just got my two up here. I just kind of like it. It really has nothing to do with, you know, could I have some extra real estate down there on the left yes but i like the extra space and i kind of look over where my kids are at kind of hanging out there um, in the couch space and all that kind of whatnot so just a preference right that but the main thing is this six grid right here and we can re we can recreate this for cheaper and i'm going to show you guys that as well okay but the idea this has a curve to it you'll notice that these two come in at an angle which again there's there's nothing super special about that but when you are trading and you are bringing things in at a distance what happens is it's the distance from here to here Okay, from the bill of my hat to here, right? You see how the note, look at the distance. I am literally from the back of my hand, just a slight curve. I'm not like all the way out to a tip touch, right? I'm not way out here. But right about here, as I'm reaching, extending my arm straight out, this is what I have found the ideal distance. So hold yours where you are in your workspace and hold your arm out and see if this is the distance. This is about as far as you want to be away from your monitors if you want the ideal setup right here, okay? Right here, same thing. My arm just comes and curves in, and you notice even when I turn to the right, still same distance right there with just a little bit of a bend of the hand, right? Again, if it's close to that, that's fine, but you don't want it super far away. I've seen some of you guys got stuff really far away. So same thing at the top. Now, as we come to the top, look, same thing. Pretty darn close. I would like these tipped in just slightly, which I do. I have these slightly edged in. It's not perfect all the way up to that, but the center of the screen still is right about here. Not too far at the top of that. I still want to be able to literally look right there and be able to see everything on that screen without having to strain myself. I don't want you to, I don't want you to be going, having to go like this to see something. You don't want to have to be leaning in like that to see on something or something like this. It needs to be, everything needs to be visually right here. And we'll talk about some of the, the, uh, the setups that I've had in the past, things that were a little bit too high that happened when I did my 43 inch verticals. You guys remember that? It looked really, really cool. Had that set up over there. I tried to get myself to like it and I ultimately ended up going back to my six grid and I've done every setup there is. I've done different sizes on these as well. These are currently 27s. I had 32s and I recognized, you know what? I'm having to look too far over to the right, too far over to the left. It didn't give me any additional benefit and it also gave me some additional height that I actually found better when I had it to this. So whatever this is, I should have maybe measured this before the video, but I'm right here and I'm kind of in the, look at, look at how I'm extending my arms, right? I'm able to reach kind of the edges just by kind of gently, you know, reaching out to the sides. I've got everything in basically arm's length distance. The hardest thing to see is what? The top right corners. So we want to put the, you know, the least um, important information maybe in those far, far corners. Maybe uh, maybe a music box, etc., or, you know, maybe some slow instrument like ES, things like that, right? So let's talk about specific hardware though. So what kind of hardware do we need? Things have changed since our last sets of videos. Let's go into what that would be. Let's come down here to screen 
uh, our, our training screen here. If you want to watch the, the old videos, type exclamation mark hardware in our room. That is one of our key commands. Boom. These three videos I recommend going and checking out. If you are a hardware, you know, um, addict or not addict, what's the word? Uh, a hardware file, right? Really loves getting into the hardware, really want to outdo it, really want everything. I go through every level of detail, even down to your network um, setups uh, from wireless, not using wireless, how to set up in your house, how to use multiple uh, routers, etc. If you want all that, you don't. You do you need all of that specifically? No, not really. But if you really are having a hard time with things, I go through a lot of detail. You know, lengthier videos. This is not going to be that here tonight. But you do need to know about these. I would go back and watch these three, and I'm going to give the update to some of this stuff because you're going to see some of the stuff. And I'm referring to 1080p screens. Okay, on these again, I am actually currently using 1080p's right here, but. Uh, we'll talk about that. Okay, so I'm currently still using 1080p's. Has a lot to do with doing the live streams uh, here with the room and doing the small account challenge and showing you guys that yes, this can be done on 1080p's. But remember, 4K, a 4K monitor, is simply four of those right stuck together. So do I have a 4K? Yeah, right here, right. This whole space right here, this is a 4K monitor, 27s, which means that the distance from here to here. Another thing that I want to show back here. This space right here, this is a 4K monitor right here. You guys get this? But look at the distance of this. Look at how far my arms are out on here. Okay. If you got a 4K and you're like, yeah, Vinny, I got one of those, and you're holding it to me and you're like this, you're like, yeah, here's my 4K. That's, that's, not, that's not what we're talking about. You need some space. You need to be able to see things, right? So this 4K at 27, this is equivalent of, write this down, a 55 inch monitor, okay? Uh, or 55 inch television. F these days, you do not have to buy a monitor. They are the same panels. You can put them into game mode, which takes out the lag issue on those. Uh, we're also gonna talk about 120 Hertz. There are a lot of TVs out there telling you that they're 120 Hertz, but they're not true Hertz. You need to know the difference between true, and then they've got their, you know, true motion, and then they've got, um, you know, actual refresh rate. And you need to make sure that the real refresh rate is actually what you're buying, okay? You're paying more for less oftentimes. We're gonna talk about that here tonight because I want you guys to spend the least and get the most, that is the idea here. Now, one of the things about buying a 55, 55 inch flat, right? Would I still be able to do this right here? Not really. Now, is a 55 inch flat bad? No, in fact, it's still better than most case scenarios, but the ideal, if you're writing down an ideal, if you don't wanna to have to do a big six grid and you don't wanna to have to buy two video cards because your machine, in order to drive more than four, here's the magic number, okay, four, remember this. A, any video card out in the market today can only drive four monitors. And I don't care if it looks like it's got five ports or six ports, it doesn't. Watch what happens. You plug them in and you're like, oh, I don't know why the sixth one doesn't work. They don't, trust me. I've been down this whole road, they are, it's, it's only four. So if you can support four, you need an additional video card to set up and to do others. Or, you know, unless you're gonna attach to USB, which I really don't recommend, you guys are gonna find out the drawbacks to those. But if they're just gonna be stationary things, it's okay. But I'm just telling you the limit on a video card that we're using, it's gonna be four, okay? So four to cover. You need, if you can get the curve, it's because it's gonna come at you, right? So that distance that I was telling you about is as far as your arm's length distance, if it's flat out there, you will find the things at the edges are way too far away from you. I don't wanna say way too, but I'm just going in general. They're gonna to feel too far away from you. You're gonna find yourself leaning in to try to look at things in the, in the edges or up top. And that curve really helps, especially at the distances we're gonna be sitting where a 55 inch curve, if you can buy the curve, if you have the, the budget for it, I'm not saying go break the budget on it, it's not absolutely necessary, but if you're asking for the ideal, I am here to show you what is the ideal, what I would like to have, right? If I'm not doing the, the grids, and I'd like to, hey, what's the simplest format I can do? I'd rather you stick a 55, bam, right in the center of your setup, and it's gonna be the equivalent of having four of my 27s right here, and uh, that's gonna be good for your setup. All right, let's come back down here. So. Watch these videos, there you go. A lot of stuff we're gonna update on the 4K. So yes, 4K, if you're getting that 55 inch, make sure it's 4K. I mean, they, they hardly even sell them without it anymore, but if you notice like, oh, this is super cheap, be careful, make sure it's 4K. Otherwise, you are not gonna have the pixel density that you need to cover and put uh, the four instruments that we need on your screens, all right? So parts one, two, and three, I'm also building desks. I get right here, if you are wondering about a cheap desk, look, I show you guys how to basically build a desk for $75 from Ikea. And it's fact, it's the same style desk that I have right here. Um, one of those things that people point out all the time is like, oh man, I guess the, you know, the more expensive the desk, the better. Well, the desk 
is actually it's more about the function on the desk. I always tell you guys it's form and function. Those are the two things you want to have combined because you want to be able to sit in your space and the form has to be nice and beautiful so that you know whether it's your wife or your spouse or your husband or whoever is in your you know presence that they understand why you're spending so much time in that area. You want to feel comfortable in it. You want them to be like yeah supporting you in what you're doing uh, behind it. But let me move over out of the way so you guys can see this a little bit here. Um, can I get out of the way completely? Let's see. You guys see that? Uh, maybe not too much. Uh, I'd have to zoom in and turn the lights. All right, so this setup here, uh, I'll put my earpiece back in here, is literally a flat desk. You guys are gonna, gonna wanna watch video number three for this, but uh, you don't really need a whole lot to get your desk set up right here. And, but that's exactly what I have here. A big longer one, so I, you know, I think I spent a little bit more on the desktop, but it's not much. It, all you need are the legs. And what helps is, I was hoping you guys could see this, but underneath it gives me all of this space. A lot of desks are like, well, you got all these drawers. And they just get in the way, right? And when you're trying to do cable management and everything else, you want some space to put your legs, your computer stuff. Um, you can have rollable um, drawers like I've got right here. These are actually rollable. Um, you guys can't see that from back there. But these are rollables that go into and underneath those IKEA desks. So I would recommend, look, if you, I'm going to show a lot of things here tonight. You see all these setups up here? These are all people's setups up here that we're going to take a look at here tonight. And some of them are going to be critiques and some are going to be about the desk. All right. And if you need a desk update, look, you don't have to spend a whole lot but it's gonna be worth it when, uh, when you get everything set up for yourself. Because remember, we are here to try to, to maximize what we can gain in the shortest period of time, okay? So exclamation mark hardware is gonna be super helpful. Another video you wanna, what is the performance video? Type exclamation mark performance. If that's not working, uh, we, min we, we need to put this in. There is a Vinny Mini performance video that has to do with the software. I won't go into that tonight. But yes, if your machine is slowing down or it's not keeping up, make sure you go through that performance video. It is not optional. Everything in that performance video is absolutely necessary if you want our system to work at the highest end because Algobox is extremely CPU intensive. We have been over that before and hopefully you guys know that. All right, let's get right into some of those setups specifically. Now, the updated topics that are going along with these videos that you're going to go back and, and watch, especially these first two, this one here is gonna be a whole lot about video cards. Um, let's go to, let's see, in the first one, we're talking a lot about the monitor setup. Yeah, we did a whole lot of these. Um, and we talked about different you know, setups. We're gonna go through those here tonight, but we are gonna do an update on this. Man, that is a very nice setup. But what's wrong with this? This is very interesting. I went over this. Great setup, it's great six grid, but do you notice how it's kind of tilting back a little bit and away from him, and it's too high? Uh, there's just a few things. Again, some of the stuff that I can tweak for folks, it's just like, man, you spent this money on this, it looks so good, and yet, oh, you're hurting yourself just a little bit by a few things, and we go through that in these videos. Um, so go and check those out on the monitor one. The middle one, the part two, is all about video cards. So here's an example of one where uh, it looks like it's got, hey, Vinny, this looks like it's got five. I should be able to hook up five. And there's actually even somewhere on here, I think there's like a little small, a mini as well. But those two, you know, will not work if you have all four of these filled up, right? Uh, other things you want to look at on the back of video cards is does it dis, uh, support DisplayPort or HDMI? These days, pretty much they are synonymous and it doesn't matter which ones you've got plugged in. Almost all of them can do both. But if you're doing to a TV, you can't do this. Now you can, you'll need an adapter um, for those DisplayPort connectors, but most of it's going to be HDMI connect. Um, and unless you're doing all four, you know, look, you're going to have HDMI connectors on there. But yes, DisplayPort can support everything. So again, I'm a big fan of DisplayPort and you can get some... Um, higher refresh rates and things pushed out of those. So that's really going in detail on those part one and part two videos that I do recommend getting into. And the third one, of course, mostly around the desk things. Now, updates to that. So back then, these were, we were talking about like the 1080 series, and I think we touched a little bit on the 2080 series. But now we are in the three series, right? The, we got the, you heard of the 3060, I believe is the lowest end. And of course, I've got the 3090s. Um, and this is the highest of the high as of right now today, 10, 10 11, 2021. Uh, that is the new card series there. Now, do you need the highest end one? No, 3060 is gonna be fine. In fact, the previous series, all these are actually gonna be fine as long as they can support 4K. So you can save a lot of money. Those of you guys who are stuck right now because you know, look, all the crypto kids are running up the, the prices on all the video cards because they're buying them out like crazy. So supply demand, they are going up. So just get yourself an older card. It doesn't really matter. The lowest card I want to see though is a 1660. If you guys have seen that in my videos before, 
the 1660 in the NVIDIA's is the lowest. Now you can do the equivalent of that in the AMD, but really I just kind of say one set of series of hardware and then you guys can pick on after the rest. The only thing I'm a stickler on is do not do AMD for your CPUs right now, okay? As of today's date, still from a CPU, do not do AMD, it must be Intel, all right? You are gonna have problems if you don't. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I go into that in the other videos, it's all the same. So still same thing. Current, you want to get highest end is gonna be the i9. Now, this is where you really do need to spend the money, right here. Again, it's not super expensive. It's most, I don't wanna say it's the least expensive part of your computer, but it's not the most expensive thing. The You get into the i9 series. Right now, we're like three generations into it, and the 9900K is like the lowest that I would go out and buy right now. If you're buying anything less than that, you're really, you know, you're throwing away money. Um, and you're really not getting what you need out of your PC for what we're doing. Again, uh, Algobox does all of the calculations for you, is doing all that processing, and it does require a beast of the CPU. GPU, we do not care. The graphics, right? This, we don't care about. It's low end, but CPU, all right, hope I've driven that point home on that. Things we need to update. So 1080p's to 4K's. You got some really cool options on 4K's. What is my baseline? So the new baseline for all of our setups is a center screen. Yeah, we're talking about the minimum, right? Everybody always asks, Vinny, what's the absolute minimum? All right, I would say you want a large center screen, right? And the, the minimum, like you're talking about what that would be, 43 is the minimum in the center, okay? And again, that's, uh, let's try to draw this up into fours here. Box quadrants. Uh, Two drawings, bam. All right. Oh, that didn't that didn't hit the center, did it? <laughs> okay, you get my point, though, right? So you know the, you got the the 1080p up here. So uh, this distance is really only going to be like a 21 inch monitor. So it's a little. I mean, it's as close as you can get to the lowest, right? The ideal is still 55, right? Uh, in the center and curved if possible, right? And then you want something off on the left. Now, uh, a 27 which is what almost everybody kind of standard has, one off to the side, kind of in at an angle. I'm trying to draw an angle there, right? Uh, hopefully you kind of get that. One off to the left, so at least two in this configuration. Um, again, if you just have this, it's okay, because we can get four instruments laid out in here, but you want to take this left-hand screen, and I'd recommend on the bottom side, you're going to put your Discord down here for our room, so you've got all the room stuff and all of our room alerts and audio box um, and Flowmaster audio box coming through here. And then here, um, we are laying out our, um, up here, we are going to lay out our, um, like I've had in the small account challenge, you guys saw this, actually, I think this should be eight squares up here, eight squares up here, um, yeah, picture there's eight, okay, um, of the, the high time frame charts, right, you're going to have your tide and your waves up here in the minimal configuration, what I call the minimalist uh, configuration, but to maximize your profits. Uh, if you guys have questions on that, hopefully I answer that appropriately. Um, tide and waves, and then these are going to be your filter and two entry charts, right? So I'm going to put the F right here, but this is the filter chart. This is going to be your Mac D, I'm sorry, Mac V, right, plus additional filters which we've got all right here. This makes your decision on which direction. And then of course, usually right here, we're gonna have the fives and twos. Again, these adjust per instrument, um, as you guys already know if you've been through our program, right? And these are your entries, okay? These are your entry charts. Uh, we've got all of the grid buttons over here on the right. So all the execution happens mostly right here in the center, and then some off of here on the right, because you also have your buttons over here, okay? So each one of these is gonna be divided out like this. There you go, all right? Three charts in each quadrant and that right there okay now this is the minimalist ideal right here a 43 or 55 in the center and then boom something off on the left now if this is tilted to the side or not eh, i mean you can make it work okay i'm less concerned with how you configure this but this really keeps everything the closest without the least amount of head movement to the left and the right keeping everything in your purview and just going to be the simplest configuration now if you can add over to the right i think this is a really cool setup when people do this whoops um when you've got your your other one over here so you got uh, another 27 perhaps off here coming in at you where you can have additional stuff here. Again, with um, any one of the standard GPUs that we're getting, you're gonna be able to support up to four 
right? So count them right here. This is three, right? And this is three giving you a whole lot of screen real estate. You can also split this one into two majors, whether you got your browser, your video, music, whatever going on over here. Um, you maybe your full auto stuff. If you're gonna have uh, Lunchbot running up here, now you might have your two finger salute stuff running right here, uh, your headshots going, going off over here on the right. However you wanna configure this on the right, I'm less concerned about this, but maximizing our position and setup is gonna be like this, okay? Make a visual of this, okay? This is what we're looking at, because here we go. Now, remember, keyboard and mouse, we also talked about all of that, the proper mouse. This is an absolute must. You've gotta have the G300S. This is not optional. Go back and watch the videos. I'm not gonna explain it all here tonight. Again, we want to make this the um, Logitech G300S. We just wanna make this the, the high level overview and kind of the um, update to the old videos, okay? G300S. Mouse, gotta have it, wired, etc. Now, let's go look at some setups and talk about updates to this type of stuff, okay? So I think we covered everything. We had i9, that's the new standard. Oh, yes, in the room. Another command you need to know is exclamation mark CPUs, because in the future, you may come into our room and be like, uh, so what's the latest CPU? It was i9's exclamation mark CPUs. Our room keeps up with this. We uh, Exclamation mark CPUs. This is going to go and pull the latest from Tom's Hardware. This scrapes some of the most popular websites out there. This comes from, I'm sorry, past Mark right now. And you can see what's the highest in GPU, the top 10 right here listed in order, right? So if you get something up there to 10, remember, do not get Apple. That's the, the top one as of right now for single thread. Do not get an Apple. So the highest you're gonna get there is 11900K. All right, I told you earlier, lowest that I want you to get is that 9900K. Right, but if you want to see what the latest is, if this is an old video, type exclamation mark CPUs in the room and you can get more details on what is the latest. And of course you can ask in the room. Uh, as far as you know, price, we showed you can, uh, if you guys want a great high-end PC for 1500 bucks, I'll show you guys how to get that. Um, I've sent you guys over to the website for that before. Come into our Discord channel chat and it looks really cool. It looks like this one that I've got under my desk with the, um, infinity front where it looks like you can put your foot through it really cool looking um and yeah you know, awesome thing uh what video was that that i put that in uh curtis <laughs> later on remind me um to find that video and put it in this hardware series as well and get a little clip out of that section where i go into um, purchasing that one and i kind of do the build out in that video um, i need to add that to this hardware series as well okay so let's start looking at some setups. Oh my word, what is going on right here? Okay, look, don't do this, <laughs> okay? And again, I'm not attacking anybody tonight here. Specifically, you know who you are if this is your setup. Okay, I appreciate We had a bunch of people do the homework. I ask you guys to put in your homework. If you guys wanna come and post yours, you wanna get some critiques on yours, post, feel free to post it in the room and uh, I'll try to do some critiques for you. This, I mean, look, just uh, the bed thing, mm, no, you're not gonna be able to trade well on this. Okay, I see the mouse over here. What is this mouse? What? How many buttons is on that? That's not helping you. It's just hindering you. You know, look, if you want to study from this, that's one thing. All right, but no, I just, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, just, no, get get, get a real setup. Uh, I mean, if you need help with that, come see me. <laughs> but All right, this one, great setup here. All right, so big one in the center. Nice, gigantic, 43. He's got the G3, or she, has the G300S uh, right there. That's looking good. Um, this mat, what's up with this mat? What, 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 what is this? What, what are you doing here? No, fix this mat. What are you doing? Like, okay, get the right size mat for what's going on your screen, whatever's going on here. I don't know. All right, but yes, this is a, this is a great, um, great sitter setup. And I think, um, I think this is the, uh, what do you call it? The TIE fighter. Somebody has a, the TIE fighter set up, right? looks like the TIE fighter. Um, up here on the left and the right, uh, I believe he has higher time frames, so I'm not as I'm not going to beat him up about these. Um, they're a little bit far out for it, but because these are only high time frames that he has to kind of look up at, and he's got them nice and spread out for himself. You know, I'll I'll accept it. This is acceptable. Okay, um, it's still not exactly ideal. Like there's a lot of space and gapping in here, and I get it. You know, you've got your setup and you got to do what you got to do. But you know, I'm I'm here to kind of help you out and make things the absolute best, right? Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of some of my critiques around that. And let's go take a peek at the next one. Um, okay, this one, this is actually really good, believe it or not. So this is all, you know, kind of zoomed in. It's not a 4K, but I believe uh, this, this person had, we'd had chats before, it's got 1080 screens. This is actually the absolute minimum, okay, of anything that you can have is three 
1080p. So I should have mentioned that earlier. We talked about this in other videos, so you're not missing out um, if you didn't catch that from before. Three 1080p's is the absolute lowest amount that you can have. If you have three 1080p's and you're working with it right now, that's fine and we'll show why. You've got enough space to set up a nice grid for yourself of your primaries. I hope that his primaries are not ES. I see ES right here in the most active spot. Okay, I'm gonna critique this right now. ES should not be right there, right? This should be a primary. This should be either RTY or YM that I see over here. I just noticed that. Okay, YM's up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the person who just says their, their, their nickname, Napoleon. All right, uh, these need to swap around, okay? You're gonna be executing more off of these. ES is slowest. I would put this up at your top right. Get that out of the way, okay? NQ's a fast one. I would actually put NQ down here. And then whichever one you prefer, I would probably put YM up here with RTY. This is okay for the RTY right here. Um, if you want to move this grid closer over here and make your entry one be right here, that would probably be good right there to put your entry chart for the RTY. Just looking at your setup, I noticed these are your higher time frames. That's perfectly fine. Um, but yes, that's my only critique around that right there. This workspace though, from a gaming perspective, I can feel myself sitting right down on this and being right up in it, bam, I'm like, uh, you know, we're sitting in, boom, you know, right there and you've got your stuff. You can click, 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 and your head's right here. Okay, you see your setup, boom, 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 right there, right there. It's good. You're right in, you're close to it. This is a good setup. This can work. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one, um, this one looks lonely. Okay, I'll just be honest. Like, this workspace, you know, feels lonely. We can we can work on it. I'd, I'd get to throw some paint on these walls, maybe toss some light back behind there maybe. Um, you know, and then I maybe a little bit larger desk. Um, uh, they you can get a relatively inexpensive desk. Maybe get get this off of the corner or get a corner desk. Um, I showed this in the the I showed a corner desk in the um IKEA one. Comes out of the corner and comes back this way, and it has like a little curvature in like this a little bit farther, um, which would give you additional space to maybe put that little side monitor as well. Um, so that's what I would do with this one. Also, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hardware, uh, the software critique as well. Okay, you're too zoomed in here. You, it doesn't look like, and I don't know, hopefully that's not a 1080p. If that's a 4K large, it looks like it's still a large one because uh, these feet stand, that tells me it's probably large TV. But right now you've got it standard 1080p, it looks like. Um, you might need to play with the Windows adjustments. If you have questions about this, hit us up in the chat box there, but you need to set it to 100% in your Windows configuration, not 300 by its default. All right, two zoomed in here. You need some additional screen real estate. I mean, just playing RTY, eh, I mean, you're, you're gonna be at a disadvantage, so just keep that in mind on this setup. If you need some help around that, let me know. But hey, kudos to you. You got the right mouse and you're heading in the right direction there. Um, I would put some form of mouse pad across this area. I would get one of the narrow ones. Um, there is a, a narrow one, narrow type that kind of goes like this. Yeah, totally botched that. <laughs> All right, there is a, a nice narrow type that can kind of fit like this um, that you might want to get for that space, relatively inexpensive um, to just cover that whole space and put your, your keyboard and get that mouse up on there is going to help you out and benefit you greatly when we are trying to remember, we are trying to play this like gamers. All right, um, next, let's close the wrong one. Yeah, we did that one already. Oh my word, this is the one that kind of started this all. Somebody in our room was struggling and they were like, man, three, three red days in a row. And anyway, I said, can I, let's start with, I haven't seen your picture yet of your hardware. Let me see what you got. Oh, okay. This is just bad, right? We don't, where do you put your mouse? I mean, is this a curve part of it? Basically, this was fail. I think he was using a touchpad to execute here. I mean, look, our system's good, but it, it can't fix it can't fix bad. You know what I mean? Like, it can't fix real bad. This is real bad, All right? And again, he knows. I think this is his work, travel, space, whatever. So, <laughs> but he was wondering, like, why am I? Do okay, now you're, this is going to be very hard to work with. I do see green PNL over there for right now, but the the days he was posting. He, he was having some struggles and this kind of started this all like this this doesn't work this is not the proper configuration i mean it's just this is not even this is not even a starting point uh also don't use laptops all right um uh, anybody if you want to go again my old videos i go deep dive into the problems with with laptops and thermal throttling so if you were going to do a laptop then you're going to need to override the thermal throttling issues on that but don't okay just don't you can get it less expensive 1500 bucks for a beast of a computer you can use a laptop from work to remote into your home, and we have those kind of setups as well. Um, 
Okay, this is this is okay. Um, this is the primary focus. Still, like you got minimized stuff right here. I would expect to see more stuff right here. This big gap right here, because you got the computer going on right here. Like this, this, this kind of hurts me. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe you're left-handed. I'm not sure. Wrong mouse going on here. I think this whole thing is being driven by a laptop. That's a problem. Well, no, 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 it's not, because that's a PC right back there. Um, but you, you just very, very much feels cramped. You know, uh, this, this could use probably a lot of help um, around this. Uh, let me back up uh, real quick on those of you guys who are wanting to do eights. Uh, I was talking to, again, my, my buddy Tom on this. So if you're going to do eights, I meant to say this at the beginning with this, do not have a center post in your eyesight. See how my hand is sticking up right here? Like imagine I'm staring right at my screen, but the middle thing I have is this vertical line right here. I literally have to look to the left and look to the right to avoid that, right? It doesn't seem like much, but you do not want this. Do not have this. You want some form of center screen right here. So this is from my buddy Tom Danty. He's doing the eight screen setup. I recommended to him that he still do the six like this. And then if he's gonna add the extra two, you can put one right here and one right here, although that's kind of problematic from a function standpoint because it causes you, if you want the things that are on those two screens, you literally would have to look way over there. It's got its separation and this one way over here. So I actually recommend doing a stack like I have up to one side, whichever you prefer. If you prefer looking to your right, you prefer looking to your left, up to you, but putting those extra two on the side, keeping a center grid format, uh, whether you're doing trading or gaming even, you do not want to be staring at this. This posting right here, if this was my center and it was like this over my head right here, don't do this. Because this is how the most eight grids will show you, right? You go online and buy an eight grid, and they've got this stinking straight line. It is so terrible to have that, that straight line right there and have four to the left and four to the right. You don't want that. Put the six grid right here and put the twos off to the left. And this kind of configuration here, you know, kind of reminded me of like, oof, you know, this is like a gigantic gaping, like feels like that's your centerpiece. Um, just, this is a very difficult situation right here. Uh, whoever this is, if you need help, kind of getting set up with this, but this is gonna be hindering your, your stuff right here. Okay, now sometimes uh, things can get too big, right? Uh, this one looks really, really cool. I mean, dude, this is, I mean, whoa, right? This is total wow factor, but total woe factor too, all right? This is very hard um, to work with. This is going to be difficult. Um, let me go to the next screen where he actually has his stuff set up on this. These are gigantic. Okay, again, now this this could be okay. If this is you and you, look, you're, but your head, I'm just picturing like neck breaking to look up at this. You're, this up look, just, it hurts me to think about having to look up this way. Um, it's just not quite ideal. You know, you might probably already know that. Like, I don't know, maybe you're using these for something. You have to have them somewhere around. I think he's got a work situation. He has to have this in, but I'm just telling you, not an ideal here. Going to be difficult, going to be hard on your health over time. Uh, I would adjust this. At least if you're gonna use this and keep this size screen, it needs to be dropped down closer to the desk level so that your eyeball area is not, instead of down here, you know, be somewhere around here. Uh, this also, if it could be curved, because this is that thing where I said that that curve starts to come in the bigger that you get on this, right? If this is curved in at you to see the edges better. Um, but yeah, as far as this look, it looks really, really cool. But, you know, that's my critique somewhere around this is that, H, that that's going to hurt your neck. You're, like, get it lower, fix the desk. Even I don't know where you put your feet on this either, right? Like, I'd be curious of what, how do you, like, this is a, what I call the knee knocker, all right? Where, I mean, you're just pff, right into that. Like, I don't know how you do this with stuff down here, right? Where you, you, get, you need an open desk down below, which is why I recommend, like, the IKEA open style rather than something that's closed up. Um, so another, another piece on that. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, this is actually, this is what I mean. Nice open underneath. This is great. Um, you can easily slide up under the desk. Got the right um, mouse right there. Um, I, this, I don't know what this is doing, but it kind of feels like it would be in my way of where my, my, my mouse movement, my primary hand of where me need to move around. I'm feeling like I'm, I'd be restrained by that a bit. Um, this monitor is too far away. I can just feel it if I was sitting right here if I was reaching my hand out, I would not be able to do, remember that arm rule I was showing you? Okay, I would bring this in closer to me. Um, this gap in space right here um, bothers me, <laughs> okay? I would bring this in, maybe touch to that. Because um, remember, we are kind of getting in gamer style, like you're up in it. 
Um, the brightness on the screen from all the uh, light that's coming in the room right here, again, this may be different when you're, but you may want to increase the brightness on this monitor. It seems a little bit dim um, compared to what's going on there in the room. Uh, or if it's dark in your room and this is not, then I would dim this one down and have these kind of equal. Uh, this one looks a bit brighter. Um, but this is nice. You've got your high time frames off on the left. Your focus is your big, looks like a, maybe a 43 there um, for the center and it has a nice layout though. So hardware wise and your layout looking real, real nice. Bring it closer to yourself. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna find that that's gonna be easier for you to execute on. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got on that. But this is, that, that's, uh, that's an ideal setup. Just bring it in a bit. Oh man, I am loving this. Whose is this one? Uh, yeah, this is good other than maybe knee knocker. Okay, so a little bit of knee knocking down here. I would basically, I would still rather have this as an open format. Those look a little bit close, a little bit nasty in it. But if you're, if you're up in it, this is a, this feels cozy. I think you could be cozy up in it. Oh, look at that beast right there. That's the beast. So if you're wondering like the, the computer I told you guys that you can build for 1500 bucks, that's the beautiful case right there. Love it. That thing can change colors. It can move around. It's really neat. So one of the members that bought that, it looks good. Um, got nice spacing here. Got a nice pad. Looks like he's lefty. Uh, again, our system, our mouse works on both hands. Ambidextrous. Got his, uh, his tracker right there. He's got, oh, he's got the G5, uh, G55 keyboard there. Looking good. And... Yes, this is this is ideal right there, right? I've, I'm reaching out. I can feel that that would be the right distance. He's right up in it. Um, yeah, and I love, look at this vertical. You see what I mean? Like this is so ideal. I would, uh, only critique on this is I would also go ahead and turn this one vertical. Um, I don't know why you do this, a little bit of symmetry. I'm a symmetry nut on that. A little bit weird to not have that one. Now maybe it's because of the stand. Um, but I would try to figure out a way at some point to get that vertical for yourself so that they're kind of matching. But hey, from a function standpoint, this, you nailed it, right? Nothing I can complain about here with function. You can see everything. Um, you got complete visibility and you know, big one in the middle, 4K. This is proper zoom levels, right? You notice that like all, he's able to get all four in this space. Beautiful, beautiful setup there. I think there's gonna not be any problems there with this layout. Um, yeah, again, if I was gonna make any critique, it would be the desk. I make it slightly larger, slightly more open underneath, and that's that's it. But the as far as your setup, yes, this is a successful workspace right here. I can feel it. Okay, there's another one that hurts me a little bit. Um, I mean, this is a really nice. I don't even know what TV that is. It's huge. Um, this might be like a 65 or 75 incher. I mean, it's it's pouring over this desk. Um, if it were curved, maybe it'd be less of an issue, but. I think this is also a standing only desk. I don't see that this could go down um, with these in there and things. So standing all the time at this desk. I know we only have to stand for an hour. Um, look, standing is good for your health, but we particularly are only you know trading for one hour. And so you can get in and you can get out, but for your practice times, you're gonna have to be at this for a very, very long time. So I'd be concerned about the amount of time spent standing at this. Um, this is a hardwood floor with no, not even carpet, your ankles and things. If you are, you know, my size or more, like a, hopefully you're lightweight, <laughs> okay? Not 215 pounds like I am. This is going to kill you. I see a skateboard over here. So perhaps you're a very lightweight person, <laughs> I guess. And so maybe you're okay, but I have con some concerns with this. Um, just being a little bit too big, being able to see those corners feels hard to me already. Um, you're jamming your high time frames into this one single screen. Um, also difficult. And I think honestly, you'd be feeling a little bit better. Maybe put this on your wall over on the side so you can use it for fun and maybe watching movies and stuff. And then here for your trading workspace to have a, uh, like a one single with one off the side yeah. or, uh, or a double even off of this. Um, and then of course you'd want slightly larger on this desk and I would make it a sit stand desk. Um, just my critiques on that and uh, being able to spend a lot of time at that, but good mouse and it looks cool, but the charts also look like they're, I mean, there's a lot going on there. Uh, you could get used to it, I think, but be careful of getting used to bad things. Okay. Um, because then when you make the shift, it becomes more difficult. It looks like you've got these row by row. So it looks like YM is all the way across the top, RTY. Uh, it's not that bad. 
but it's kind of bad. You know what I'm saying? Like you're really limited on your visibility on this. It's workable, but um, yeah, I mean, I can't approve. <laughs> I can't approve this one. I, you're gonna have a hard time with that one, I think. Oh, this one hurts me too. I mean, this I had this problem when I went with the gigantic 43 verticals. Um, I did find this problem and I feel bad because one of my videos I was talking about how cool it was to have all I had a whole bunch of them I had five of them in a curved array like this But I could I re looking up up here hurt my neck to see this top spot It's like it has to cut off like right here um, So when we get this extra space anyhow this this one this one hurts you know, I think my other layouts are better, but you got a nice big desk here so I would probably turn this back down on its uh, on its side like this and then I would turn this one vertical so I would literally do kind of the opposite that you got here wide here vertical here and then the configuration I've already kind of showed you that's my suggestion around that I like the nice open space down here below you should be able to tuck right into that no problem but um, that would be my configuration change around that this pff, what do I got to critique about this not a whole lot I'd get a mouse pad across this whole thing but outside of that, there's the G300. Oh, I bought a couple of them, looks like. Great. Uh, but yeah, this is the ideal. This is going to be, you know, look at this angled in right at them. Yeah, beautiful setup. Can see everything. Can get all the setups there. Looking real good. A um, little bit of an interesting, different configuration, looks like, on these. But it looks like you got a, you're got you getting four per instrument. If you like that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, looks, looks good. All fits well, I think. This person's probably doing quite well. I like that you got your vision boarding tools up here at the left. Looking good, looking good. Oh man, I like this. Whose is this one? That's a good one right here. Wasn't there another picture of this one? I have a zoomer zoomed in. No, I like this though. Only critique I got here is this feels right up in my way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like even right now, I feel like I'm having to look around this boom mic. Um, you know, look, here's one that I like to get right here if you're gonna have a microphone. You see this one? All right, get that blue Yeti. It looks like you do have a blue Yeti, but it's attached to that thing. Like that little stand right there, I know everybody likes the big arm stands and they think that's all, listen, like from a functional standpoint, I think their base looks really cool anyhow. Just use the one they got. <laughs> that's my opinion on that. I feel like this one's in the way a bit, but outside of that, beautiful six grid, man. Like this is pro right here. This guy's going pro, um, I can feel it. Uh, this space feels a little cramped. That's probably the only thing I'd be concerned with. Mm, but distance wise, I mean, you're right up in it, but this thing right here is just right in your way. Um, but even this hanging over the edges, I think this is, I think this could work. This could work. I'd get slightly larger desk. I get 75 bucks at Ikea. Gets you the same thing with a little extra space um, around it and a little bit thinner. Those might, those will be less in the way as well. So I might just get a $75 desk and get this up out of the way. Um, that's my only critiques on that. Very, very nice right there. Okay, this is the type that I kind of had the problem with right there. You see that right there? That thing is right in your eye. So you're having to look to the left, look to the right. I know it seems like a small thing, uh, but if that wasn't there, I would just take this whole thing because this is technically 4K. I'm pretty sure now this, these might be 4K monitors, but it's a waste. When the 4K is this small, it's a waste, okay? So these should be 1080Ps. Left, right, and center, right, and this whole thing, the one big screen, right? And way cheaper, um, less drive off of your, I uh, uh, hope this isn't being driven by a laptop, <laughs> okay? But uh, yeah, I would just get one big 55, um, lowest end 43 in the center, drop all the same stuff on your setup, and this mouse, okay. This is a weird configuration from that mouse pad. It's not the quite the right size for your desk. So again, another one of those, like if you're gonna get the big mouse pad, get it to right. Look how his mouse is having to hang over the end there. Um, not not ideal. Uh, but I love the the 500 counter. That's awesome. Uh, that's uh, Yengi's group got got ourselves hooked up with that. I do want to hold do a whole video on that. I got me uh, a couple of these. I got uh, the one that pops out and the one that doesn't. Love it. So thanks to Yengi for those. And got the golden knife looking there. Looking good. Looking good, but yeah, a little bit, it could, it could improve, but not bad, not bad. Not, not gonna critique it too much there on that. Okay, this one, pff, awesome. Awesome ideal right here. Plenty of leg space up underneath, right up on it, proper mouse, one to the left. This is, this is the, this is the minimalist ideal. Loving it right there. It, is that even curved? It looks like it might even be curved. 
Uh, no, maybe straight. But no, like uh, only thing I can say on that, like yeah, you know, it could be slightly better with the with the curve, and I think this might still be a 43. Um, I might be wrong. It might be a 55. Hard to kind of tell from this. Uh, if that's a 27. And that might be a 55. Yeah. So, but yeah, that looks, I mean, look, you can, you, you can feel it, right? Slide yourself up to that desk. You can totally get clear visibility on that, on our Algobox system. Loving that. Absolutely looking good. This is how I prefer. So if you've got four screens like that other one, I probably should have mentioned that, you know, you had the problem with that centerpiece. Well, this is how you fix it right here. If you've got four, you still want to keep your four right here. This is what you do, right? The upside down T right here. Put the top one up top right here. Put these in a three configuration. You cannot get better than this if you're doing four screens. Outstanding right here. This is the proper desk size. This is the proper, look at the mouse pad, those hanging, wobbling, any of that right there. This is on what looks like one of, uh, I used to have the same configuration, one of mine a long time ago. See this little break right there? This is a folding, um, a folding lunch table thing, but I had my setup on this for a long time. like. Man, this is a good, but this is good. This is the right size and the openness underneath looking really good. Great setup here. I bet this person's crushing it. I don't know who this is, but great setup right there. You can see everything. You're right up in it. You're going to be able to see absolutely everything. He's coming at you. Yeah, that great setup right there. Loving it. Uh, this one, just missing a side monitor here. Um, hard space to put your feet. I would never would put that right there. I would try to get that off to the side or back here, hide it somewhere off to the side, slide your couch. I don't know what you gotta do to slide this over and get it out of the way, but get yourself some feet space underneath there. You'd be surprised at how much this is a hindrance to you sitting at your desk for long periods of time. Uh, it looks like you're an audiophile person. I would try to figure out how to get that off on a side desk somehow. Um, just some of that critique right there, but big old 55, loving it. Uh, maybe a curve would be slightly better. It looks like, um, I'm not sure you have the, how these stretched out here. I would work at uh, your workspace. Yeah, your workspace needs some help. Um, you're getting a lot of visibility in your lowest time frame, but yeah, let me know how this is working out for you. I'm kind of curious, uh, whoever this is, I'd like to have a, have a chat with you, see how it's doing. You got the wrong mouse. So there's gonna be some problems um, with this one. And, uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll, hopefully you're new to us and uh, getting things worked out for yourself. Beautiful. Beautiful ideal. Again, if you're gonna have three, hey, this is a great way to set it up. Even better than looking off to the right. They look nice when you set them off to the right, but this actually minimizes how much you're having to look up or you know over to the right and whatnot. This keeps everything closer into purview. This is the absolute ideal on having three screens set up right here. Beautiful setup. Can't see the rest of the desk and things, but it looks like you got space and everything. I see the mouse. That's our good mouse. Loving that setup right there. Looking good. Oh, there's a beauty. That is a beauty right there. I don't know who this is. Uh, was that a baby hammock underneath? <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, um, beautiful configuration. Uh, yeah, the left side, the right side, verticals. Yep, loving it. Now, the middle screen, a little bit of a problem here. This looks too zoomed in, so you're only getting one instrument right here. You need to be able to get four instruments on this center screen. So start dividing that out and... That's, uh, that's the only configuration setup I could change it. But yes, as far as this configuration goes, that type of style setup, it's good. It looks like this might be a standard monitor size though, so maybe that's why this is like this. Um, but yeah, this is a good configuration in general. All right, so now we go with the threes. This is the minimal. This is the absolute minimum that you can have, 1080s across the way. Not too much to say about this. Here's plenty of space underneath. Um, that mouse pad, way too small, <laughs> okay? Way too small. Um, but yeah, and I would not use that keyboard. Uh, but other than that, not, not too bad, okay. Uh, this is good, this is okay. I would still, you know, vertical these as we've kind of said before. You got a nice big screen in the center. This is, pro I can't tell if it's because this is fish-eyed though, this might be too far away. If this is not fish-eyed, that's too far. If it's fish-eyed and I'm off by it, it might be okay. It might just be the fish-eyeing kind of pushing it to me like this, but it looks like it's too far away from me. I would bring these in. Towards you, you're gonna have a little less desk space on the front, but um, executing on this will put it, it'll just increase your ability to do so. All right, this one, uh, it's one of those lonely configurations, only the lonely, it's not bad, um, but I would get just, I would go ahead and maximize this space for the desk all the way to edge to edge on this and get yourself a little side uh, vertical here and 
then that's it. I see you got your mouse, uh, G300 there delivered. Awesome. Got that $1,500 set up. That's a beast. And yeah, that's the only configuration there. Uh, I'm not so much a stickler on the chairs. Um, again, the chairs, as long as it's kind of comfortable to you, it doesn't have to be ultimate comfort, comfort, like when you're trading our stuff. Now, when you're studying, you're going to have to be there a while. So you might want the cushy chair then. But then once you're using our system and you're only having to trade for like a half hour to an hour, you know, you want to sit in a chair that kind of keeps you awake, right? A little harder chair. Totally fine. Totally fine. Great little setup right there. Okay, this one, this one hurts me because I know like there's a lot of, it looks like it's really good, but there's all kinds of, you know, things that are going to be difficult. I think these are too far away from you at this size. Um, and yeah, this is, this is just hurting. Again, I would, I would reconfigure this whole thing and just kind of do, you know, one of our other setups and configurations. The, the four wide, you're having to look all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and a little bit tough, right? You might want to take this one and put it up here. Right, put it in that upside down T so that you're at least in this space and then bring these to this side and kind of bring a little bit closer to you um, and slightly down so that um, these are at a kind of a different level there. Um, but I know you're using the stands. Um, but yeah, a little bit, little bit tough on this one. Um, and hopefully that you are a younger person, maybe in your 20s because these screens are very, very small. Uh, so visu <laughs> visually, um, I hope you can get that set up. If you need some help, let me know. Oh, there it is. I knew we had another setup of this, a picture of this. So again, this is the one with the, the hangy mouse pad, you know, re readjust, get yourself a new, new mouse pad on that. But outside of that, yeah, so nice setup there in the center, being able to see everything around it. No complaints about this. I think this is really good, you know, setup and workspace, just that mouse mat change out there. Uh, yeah, definitely like this setup. This one was the one that, man, I kind of go back on and go, man, I wish I hadn't gone the, the height of this. I think um you can probably feel how hard this is i know this is john my buddy john it is hard to see all the way up to the top that's my only complaint about these because it's nice because you can bring these all the way into yourself so you really can see everything it's coming in at you but the this top layer gets really hard um to see so as long as you're putting some stuff it's like not as important up there at that top uh, because your real visibility you know kind of comes into this section right here when you're doing the verticals um but yeah that's that's my spot on that. Looking pretty good. Ah, this is a uh, husband-wife duo. Very cool. Um, you can't see some of the monitors. There's actually a third. They have three on each one with a center screen. 43s, they both actually purchased at the same time when we did our, we were given the 43-inch monitors. We did the 43-inch monitor giveaway. They both got those there and got their side one set up. I got no complaints around this setup. Look at the nice open space around the desk. This is just very, very nice looking. Um, the keyboard, the mouse setup, look how they got the proper... You know, even the, the mouse pads looking real good there. Loving this office and setup. I like this picture up here with the, 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 the girl versus the bull there looking really awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, the same kind of view there. There's the three. Yeah, perfectly looking good right here. I might try these vertical, okay? If you haven't gone vertical with these to see what that looks like, oops, like that, uh, those turned vertical would be really, really cool, I think, for your setup. Um, but if you like it like this, you know, no major complaints there, but you are having to look a little bit farther to the left, a little bit farther to the right, and I think you would like the verticals. Um, this one, again, the, the minimus, the absolute minimal that you got there. Um, I can't see under the desk there, but hopefully you got some space. This looks like one of those. Uh, I think this one could have good space underneath it. And you got some hardcore, like, I don't know what's going on with the yellows going on here, if it's the picture or not, but uh, like hardcore blue blocker turned on maybe on this. So a uh, little bit careful of that and those screens are pretty small i hope this person is in their 20s um again if you're not in your 20s you shouldn't be using that small of screens but outside of that you know not, nothing too much to complain about i'd still pull these together the gaps in space you know tend to bother me and uh you know make your space look good oh look at this beauty hold on i'm gonna feast my eyes on this front yeah mm, that looks good i like this i like this uh, it looks like there might be a little bit too much distance here i would probably bring all this back closer to me way too much space here big old mouse pad and keyboard it might be fish-eyed in this so that may be doing something here love what this is looking like but bring this in closer to you you're a little bit too far away you're gonna have problems um, seeing some of that all right love this setup um again i would probably flip that one vertical um, laptop's probably fine. Flipping that vertical, that mouse is horrendous. Um, I know you probably like it, but 
you, once you go G three hundred S, you don't go back. Trust me. I love that pop gun. That is uh, the old school kind. Uh, my dad gave me his from a long time ago. Has the 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 real bullet pops. Those are real nice. Uh, nice little setup there. Okay, this one. Uh, this is a neck breaker. Neck breaker. Looking up too high. I would drop all this down as much as possible. Um, but from a screen real estate perspective, you know, you can you definitely work with this. This isn't like absolutely, you know, not playable. Um, we had like that one with the laptop thing. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. Um, I like it. But yeah, I'd bring it all bring it all down, all of it down um, to see a bit better. Um, and I might even we could get these like equal sized maybe. Uh, again, I really just when I'm fixing things now, I'm just kind of like the cheapest solution like Walmart you can get you know, the 43 inch flats for like so cheap now, I would just get, boom, one big 43 right there. And then you've got ones that you can put vertical on either side. Yeah, your, your best solution I think is just to do that um, on those configurations. Okay, coming to the end here, we got a few more. Uh, I think it's the same picture there. Um, okay, same thing right here. I would just replace this with a big 4K right there in the center. You got that issue with that little, you know, these just, yeah, ooh, ugh. But is it doable? Yes. Can you play with this? Yes. Is everything kind of close? Yes. Could you use a, a, a mouse pad on this? Yes. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think this is a nice, this is a nice successful workspace. This is hard up here. Um, hopefully nothing too important up on this screen right here. But as far as your layouts on your screens, your charts, I can see that you've got everything laid out there where you're going to be able to see it and easily get to all the buttons. Um, but if I had any other critique on that, yeah, I would just uh, you know, replace this, maybe even bring this whole thing down a bit for yourself. But yeah, this is uh, this is looking good. Ah, there we go. Here's uh, here's the ideal, yeah, maybe leg space. I can't tell. This feels a little cramped here. I might slide that over. Looks like you got a few inches to the left. I'd push that all the way over so you got some leg space. Um, I've always hated these slide out things, um, but it looks like you kind of have to in this. And this is a this is a shoulder killer. Um, having that kinked up this where you're up on one level here and your other hand down here that is a that is a shoulder nightmare you're gonna you're you're, you're just gonna get scoliosis you end up like one side of you is gonna have issues um so eesh, that's my only only problem with that but monitor wise this is looking good uh big one in the middle this is also not set to you need to set this to 4k um this is you know not oops remember that this is uh, you know, you don't have the you don't have the 4K thing going on here, so you're not being able to fit everything you need here. Um, yeah, you're gonna need some major help here on like your layout. Uh, but from a hardware space, um, yeah, I mean IKEA desk. I would just be like the solution to this is you know an IKEA desk with some space and this over under thing is probably gonna hurt you. Um, you're gonna have to see how far up those buttons are way up there. It's gonna be a tough configuration there, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my configuration on that. Um, oof, neck breaker, uh, too high, but in this space, um, it could it could work. Um, this is too zoomed, so I would again set this to 4K 100% and get all of your charts right here. And as long as these are kind of like sideshows, if these were um, your high time frames, tide wave and ripple up here. And then these were your execution charts, and this is your Discord stuff, and this is perfectly fine. So that's my suggestion around that. Um, this one, I would, if these are at your eye level, then it's probably fine. This is actually, you could be zoomed into this, but it doesn't have the third. Um, you're not going to have enough space for everything in this configuration. From a distance wise perspective, you're okay. Desk, way too small. Um, yeah, there's a lot of. A lot of help. This one, this one might qualify for my worst setups. If you want to put this in my worst setups thing and let me help you out, you guys are going to be able to vote on which one you guys think is kind of the, the setup that we should, you know, help out the most. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna get you a setup all fixed up. So whoever this is, um, come <laughs> come come uh, come come ping me and let me let me help you out. Let me uh, send you some good hardware. All right. Uh, this is a nice layout here. Got the threes across. Um, and oh, that over under and the slide out things. Look, if you're a person that can do that, great. It's just it's not ideal uh, from a gamer perspective. It's going to be a lot harder to execute well with that like that. Looks like your PC is right up underneath your feet, so be careful of that right there. 
Um, but not too bad. Not 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 too much to, to say around that one there. Yeah, we already did that one, talked about that one. Um, and the last couple things here. So this is a difference from somebody going from their normal to go to the 43. Can't tell how much of a difference this is, but there's a huge difference. Really nice setup there that you got going on there now. Um, oh, Whiskers. So everybody keeps asking, dude, how did Whiskers go from zero to hero? This is it right here. This is the Whiskers setup. Uh, we did look at this one before, and this is what he's using. Um, he came here. He said, Vinny, what do I need to do? You guys heard his story before. And here he is. He said, Vinny, I will do whatever you tell me to do. What do I need to do? And he just set this out the, exactly the way that we needed it. We had told him he needed one on the side and one here. And he had, you know, didn't have a budget. He didn't have a whole lot to work with. But he's like, what do I need? And look at him out there. He's absolutely crushing it now and loving watching his uh, results. But that is his configuration setup. Did want to make a mention of that. DG. All right, so lots of folks know who DG is. He is awesome. He, look at this beautiful setup. He did custom work for his desk and everything. Um, I believe he's got a sit stand here, but uh, maybe not. I think it's just sit. Is that a sit stand? You have to correct me on that. No, I think it's just sit. But it's got the adjustable size height legs from Ikea, which are good. So you could lift it up or down slightly if you needed to adjust where it was. Um, nice setup here. He's a lefty. Um, but he's got the proper size for everything here. He's got a lot of hotkeys set up on his little hotkey one here. He's got a footrest there underneath, but notice how open this is underneath. You can slide it right up into it, but he's having the problem that I kind of had before. And I can see he can, he already, yeah, we kind of talked about this. You see this space up here? I won't say it's wasted space. Again, you can find something to slide in it, but it's just that little space right up there. It's just that one. It's kind of that neck breaker area. And it just makes it a little bit harder, um, you know, to get to things. So uh, in that configuration, just that space, you have to kind of figure out what to do with that space there. But yeah, very nice setup. Look at all these cool notes he's got set up over here on his walls. Just absolutely looking amazing. Um, the space, the colorings and everything else just really looks so cool. Like you just want to go and sit up in that right there. I mean, it feels like you're working up, walking up to the uh, Star Trek Voyager's, you know, command center space there. Really, really cool setup. He's got the monitors off on the right as well uh, for some additional visibility. But yeah, looking real cool. Look at these uh, notes he's got going on here. His notes looking so good. Really, really cool. And um, and this one also is a candidate for the absolute worst, but I think this is a work setup, not a home setup. Uh, so, you know, I totally get by with that. All right, I, uh, there we are at uh, one hour, a little bit longer than I expected it to be. Uh, the majority of everything there, hopefully at the beginning, go watch those other three videos, parts one, two, and three on hardware. If you guys got questions, if I missed anything, put them down in the comments below, hit us up in there in the Discord chat. And if you guys got questions around why you need the extra CPU or anything for Algobox or configurations and workspace layouts, um, hit us up and we'll try to get those answered for you. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I will send it off right here for me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang. Let's send out that big H-Town. See you.